Hi guys, how is everybody out there doing today? I've had better days. Uh, as most of you guys know, my stepmom, who is basically my mom, passed away the other day. So thank you for everybody for reaching out that's reached out to me so far and that will continue to reach out for me for probably the next few days. I'm sure I'll be here a lot of the guys from work and whatnot. But, but I mean, it's been real hard on my family. We lost my dad five years ago. So, I mean, stuff like that's never easy. It always kind of sucks. So, but thank you all for reaching out to me. That For those of you who reached out, for those of you that will reach out, you know, I, I get calls and messages every day from a lot of you guys. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. But I'm in Elmira today. We're going to go check out Tommy Phil Figure's house. So, come on. Tommy Hilfiger grew up in Elmira, the son of a jeweler and a nurse. He turned his dream from basement into a multi-billion dollar global brand. He watched the rise of Ernie Davis, realized that if Ernie could live his dream, so could he. Tommy spent some time traveling to New York City, Ithaca, and Hyannis, Massachusetts, where he saw head shops that sold clothing, candles, and incense. His vision for a unique kind of stove in Elmira, or store in Elmira, grew, and on December 1st, 1969, he's op he opened People's Place. And from there, he became one of the biggest fashion icons in history. It all started from right here in Elmira. And this is going to be Tommy Hill Hillfigure's house when he lived here in Elmira. Now, I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I could not See, I could not find anywhere of the times that he lived here. So if somebody knows and wants to let me know, that would be awesome. Please leave it in the comments down below. Because I'm really kind of, you know, somebody's got to know more than I do. I just did some real quick research about this place. So I'm, I'm really dying to know when he lived here. And last time I knew, he did not. I don't think he owns this place. I know he was talking about turning it into a museum at one point in time. I don't know anything about if that's going to happen, if it will happen. And by the looks of it, I don't even think anybody even lives here anymore. But this is where Tommy Hilfiger used to live in Elmira, when he lived in Elmira. And I have one other place I want to show you guys for this video ends. So hold on. You can just imagine driving his Ferrari or his Porsche or whatever he drives coming out this garage right here. Leaving right there. Or leaving right there. That would be pretty cool. I'm sure. I think there's a pool up back there. I'm sure there's a pool back there. This is actually a really nice house. It might be for sale. I have no idea. Somebody's got the money. Go buy it. 606 West Clinton Street. This is where Tommy Hilfiger grew up. You can imagine him sitting there in his basement just thinking up clothing lines. Like It's kind of cool. But I'm not going to get too often close. People do live here. So I just want to show you the house real quick. But thanks guys, thanks for, thanks for coming on today. You know, it's been a real emotional, emotional week for me and my family. So I hope you guys all take care, but don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, more stuff coming.